Hello everyone, and today we've been, we've been, we are, doing more High Your Question Film Reviews. Twins Reviews! <laughs> right, anyway, so we're starting off with a beautiful film. Well, not, maybe not so beautiful because it was rated 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. If you guys can guess what it is, we'll give you a few seconds to guess whilst we try and explain it. So it has Will Ferrer in it. Yeah. It has John C. Riley in it. Yeah. And the biggest giveaway was it was rated zero. Zero percent. That's just zero out of a hundred. Zero percent. It got nothing on Rotten Tomatoes. And the cri- the users' reviews were just as bad, weren't they? Yeah. I think it got like 12 maybe or seven or something. So if you guys have guessed it right, comment it down below. So the film is Holmes and Watson, which is like... Well, which is Sherlock Holmes and his sidekick as such. But it's the one with Will Ferrer in it. It's the better one. It, to be fair, it's... Um, I don't think it deserves 0%. I think that was a bit of an um, understatement. Or over... I don't, I don't know, but it, it was actually really good. And it was really funny. Like, normally... So, every, I think the problem is people were comparing it to Step Brothers. And they were saying, this is meant to be Step Brothers 2. And obviously, Step Brothers was such a good film. But Holmes and Watson was funnier. I think Holmes and Watson was funnier than Step Brothers as well. So even from, like, the initial get-go, like, the first bit, he was just, like, randomly... None of it made any sense, did it? He was just randomly, like, stroking an eggplant. And then Watson committed, went to commit suicide and landed in the eggplant. And that's how the story unfolded. That's that how they were sidekicked. So funny. Yeah. And the whole thing was just funny. And then, like, there's just some... None of it, like I said, made any sense. So you, when you had the bit with... Um, um, the, the One of the women was just a cat for some reason. Through the oh, whole yeah. film. She was just a cat. And it yeah, was, yeah. She pretended to be a cat through the entire so film. So that bit was really memorable. I forgot about that. <laughs> and obviously, it was... They had the Titanic in there as well. But the main thing was that it... It was basically them going to save the Queen. So it was your generic thing. And I don't know if you've seen any of the old ones, but the bits where it goes, does the calculations, where it's like, if I do this for the airspeed and the... They do that, but obviously it's so funny when they do it. It's hilarious. And the bit at the start where they're just trying to fight off the bees. And it goes on for like 20 minutes, doesn't it? (laughs) So um, from the... So, Ethan, talk about the story. What do you think of the story in it? Well, there wasn't really a story. Obviously, this is a comedy film, so... And it, it, it's it's American comedy, isn't it, really? Yeah. It's just, it's just stupid. stupid. Like, all the way through. It's kind of like a bit like The Office, where none of it makes any sense, but it's still just so good, and you can't stop watching it regardless. And, um, yeah, so I agree. There wasn't really any story in this, apart from, oh, no, the Queen's going to die, find the bad guy. So what did you think of the comedy in it? Like, 10 out of 10. It was just typical Will Ferrell comedy. It wasn't yeah. a smart comedy. It was just, like, them yelling and saying fuck. Yeah, there was a lot of um, swear words in it, as Ethan just demonstrated. And, um, yeah, I don't know how it was a 12A, because it was a lot of swearing and obviously rudeness and stuff like that. But, so the action scenes were really good as well. And they had a WWE wrestler in it. They had Braun Strowman in it as well. And he was pretty decent. But he was clickbait. Yeah, he was clickbait. It's the same with, like, John Cena and Bumblebee, where it's just... He's very, it's just clickbait. But that was quite good, the fight scene with Braun Strowman. Yeah, it was pretty good. And then, cool. like, the, I like the way it rounded up as well. Also, I'm not going to give you any spoilers if you want to watch it. If not, guys, you can feel free to message me on Discord and I'll give you a little spoiler-free review, link in the description. But, yeah, um, I think it was really good. So we need to summarise it up now. As you know, these are only quick reviews, guys. So, comedy-wise, brilliant film. Anything else to know. If you if you go in thinking, oh, it might have some decent action in, it is a comedy, obviously, so they have met what they're aiming for with that, but everything else was a bit naff in it, wasn't it? Yeah. It was just your generic Will Ferrell, Will, Fer- Will Ferrell silly comedy, guys, and I recommend that you get in and watch it as soon as you can. 10. Really enjoyed it. All four of us who went, me, Rob, and um, Winona all went to see it, and we all were laughing, we all came out. A lot of people, a couple of people at the front left, didn't they? Yeah, three people left, and then two people in front of us kept getting up, the plot was too big. Yeah, they kept getting up and even coming back, getting up and even coming back, so it didn't make any sense. It, was, it just seemed so weird. But, anyway guys, this has been the quick review of Home from Watson. 
you guys seem to like us reviewing stuff, even though our reviews tend to not ever make any sense. But yeah, so Ethan, Ethan says 10 out of 10. Yeah. I actually say 10 out of 10. In comedy, you can't really compare this film to anything else because it's just a silly comedy. There's nothing to compare it to. 10 out of 10 better than Avengers. Yeah, if, if we were to compare it to Avengers, it, it would be make better. Avengers terrible. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.